Once upon a time, in a land far, far away, there was a corrupt monarchy waiting to go down with a revolution. Peasants were being murdered at the stake, with no remorse. The world seemed to be coming to an end, but there was one man willing to fix everything, and his name is... NAPOLEON! Napoleon Bonaparte was born on August 15th, 1769, on the island of Corsica in France. He was the son of a noble and the second of eight children. Napoleon was a very small, fiery, hot-tempered child. Though small, he often beat his brother when fighting, even though his brother was more than a year older than he. Haha, <laughs> you're just a little kid, Napoleon. You're so short, you're never gonna grow up. You're such a little kid. You're a loser, you're a loser, you're a loser. Ha <laughs> ha Oh, you're a loser, Napoleon. Napoleon. Napoleon, no! Oh, oh. On October 5th, 1795, Napoleon was in Paris when a large, angry Parisian mob of royalists tried to attack the ruling National Convention. We hate Paris! We hate Paris! We hate Paris! We hate Paris! <laughs> Victim Paul de Barris was impressed by Napoleon's military ability and called upon Napoleon to defend the palace. Napoleon, we need to talk. Did I do something wrong? <sighs> no, I need you to save the palace from angry rioters! No problem. Triple kill! Napoleon was hailed as hero by Barris for clearing out the mob and was promoted to major. Nice work on Napoleon. Thank you. Now a military general, Napoleon was contemplating life as a young leader. I never get treated with the respect I should get just because I'm young. Maybe if I would be to marry an older woman, I could say I'm older. Oh gracious god. What a woman! Hey lady, do you live in a cocktail? Cause I'm stuck in here. You broke! Who the hell are you talking to? You were just some uh, random military general? And I think his name was like Napoleon Bonaparte or something. So look, look, you know he's destined to be an emperor in the future. He's destined for power. Oh, really? <laughs> hey, boy, we're going off on the wrong foot, or should I say, hand? <laughs> <laughs> A few moments later. Do you, Napoleon, take Josephine as your wife? Yes, I do. By the way, I can't have kids. I hope you're okay with that. Do you, Josephine, take Napoleon to be your husband? I do. If anyone objects to this union, speak now or forever you hold peace. I object! I object! In 1796, Napoleon commanded a French army that defeated the larger armies of Austria, one of his country's primary rivals, in a series of battles in Italy. No, 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 please, 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 please! Fatality. In 1797, France and Austria signed the Treaty of Campo Formio, resulting in territorial gains for the French. The following year, the Directory offered to let Napoleon lead an invasion of England. Napoleon, you are amazing against the Austrians in battle. We must now push to attack England while we have a strong army. No, are you stupid? 
We must weaken them first by invading Egypt and weaken their trading routes with India. Egypt. That man is godforsaken genius. Napoleon charged into Egypt and crushed the Egyptian army. What? What the heck? All I do is win, 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 no matter what. Got money on my. However, the British forces retaliated by completely destroying the French Navy, leaving the forces in Egypt stranded. Napoleon's army launched an invasion of Ottoman, which ended with a failed siege. That summer, with the political situation in France marked by uncertainty, Napoleon abandoned his army in Egypt to return to France. We may have lost that battle, but it's okay. We haven't lost this war yet. <laughs> What? France is in chaos? I'll be right there. Once Napoleon returned from Egypt, with the support of the army and several government members, he overthrew the Directory of France and seized control. Hey, look at Randy Orton slithering. Oh, watch out, watch out, watch out, watch out, watch out! Oh, here's the cover! All I do is win, 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 no matter what. Got money on my mind, I can never get it up. And every Following the coup d'etat, a new constitution was introduced, and Napoleon appointed himself as the first council of France. Look at my down. down. Look at my down. As first council, Napoleon ordered his officials to reorganize laws into what is known as the Napoleonic Code. We must reorganize the laws to be better for the people of France. So you do all the work, okay? Bye. What? What? This is going to take a while. The Napoleonic Code is one of Napoleon's greatest achievements. It guaranteed the right to equality under the law, the right to hold property, the freedom, the freedom of religion, and the freedom to pursue work of one's choice. However, this rule didn't apply to everyone. In France, women are considered uh, too highly. They should not be regarded as equal to men. In reality, they are nothing more than machines for producing children. Wives were not allowed to sell or give away property. A wife could only own property with her husband's consent. Hey honey, can I use that pen so I can write down my chores for today? No! Napoleon says you're useless! So I have to trust in him. Go back to the kitchen! <laughs> Fathers were also allowed to imprison their children for any time up to a month. You know what, Earl? I've had enough of your attitude! No, he's just a kid! He doesn't know any better! Go away! Get in the cage, you're going in prison for a month. Napoleon was still a great man, however, and has won more wars than you could count. Now that he was finally in full control, he decided to crown himself Emperor of France. And the rest is history. I never get treated with the respect I should get just because I'm younger. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. 
of us laughing. <laughs> They're all like such a girl. It is so nice. <laughs> That was good, that was good. Don't laugh. I was so hard not to laugh. <laughs> By the way, <laughs> oh, <shit. laughs> did the hair go in your eye? Yes. <laughs> okay, okay. I missed the bloopers. Go. Go, go, go. Oh. 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 Okay, so Jose, walk in. Don't move, don't see him. Okay, Jose, stare at him and look angry. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> oh, that's loud. No, he's scared, he's scared. He's scary? No, he's, he's... <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. This happened to me in the last grip. You can't laugh, no. Oh, Just think of something that makes you angry. I'm biting my tongue. <laughs> <laughs> okay, just bite your cheeks. That's what I usually do. Circle of blood. You know he is a champion of empire. Circle of blood. You know. <laughs> Circle of blood. <laughs> <laughs> okay, sorry. Emperor in the future, right? <laughs> <laughs> that, was good. that was good. Action. He's destined for power. Oh, really? <laughs> You're stupid. <laughs> What's wrong with you? That was really good. There wasn't anything was funny about that. Sound, like, oh. <laughs> okay, I said, oh, okay. We're doing it again, Mitchell. <laughs> Action. No! No! no. no. Can I use that pencil? <laughs> Can I use that pen? I need it, Sophie. <laughs> Can I use that pen? I need it so I can do my job. Are you kidding? Can I use that pen, Sophie? <laughs> Oh yeah. Hey honey, can I use that pencil? <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>